Capricorn. Welcome to Monarch Intuition and today I'm going to be doing your June 2022 mid-monthly check-in reading for you. So if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is I like to pull one major arcana to kind of see the energy and then I clarify from there. So what is going on for Capricorn? What do we need to know? Oh, I also have a new camera. So I don't know if it's any different. It kind of looks the same to me. So it's just one generation upgraded from the previous camera that I had. So anyway, what's going on for Capricorn? What do we need to know? We have the devil. All right, so the devil represents your energy. So when I look at the devil, this represents being bound to water, but it also means ba being bound to land because Capricorn is a sea goat, right? Now, the devil does represent being bound to addictions and having things chained around you. So this could represent debt. This could be, you know, being in a contract that you don't want to be in, or it could just represent signing a new contract. However, there is that saying, the devil is always in the details, and that is something that you really need to pay attention to. You need to look at the details on any type of contract and then peer further. So this could represent that maybe you need to hire an attorney, maybe you need to hire like, I don't know, someone who knows contracts right here. Now it can also represent that you're going to have the opportunity to sign a new contract. But also things from your past could be popping back up. It could represent that maybe an ex you've never gotten over is coming back into your life right here. So what is going on for Capricorn? Let's clarify this energy. So I do have the Revelations Tarot deck, and this deck does have reversals in it. So let's see. Let's get three cards for Capricorn. What do they need to know? We have the Ten of Pentacles in reversed. All right. We have the Ace of Swords in reversed, and we have the Six of Wands upright. All right. This is kind of weird energy to have because it does represent a victory towards the end right here. But what you need to understand about this Ten of Pentacles in reverse, this represents your savings falling out. Everything that you've kind of worked for crumbling and falling apart. The Ace of Wands in reverse is saying that you fell for some sort of false information, okay? And the Six of Wands is hoping that you have victory over this. Now we're going to clarify all three of these cards for you. So why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? So this could be that you signed a bad contract or that you are potentially going to sign a bad contract in hopes that you have good faith with the Six of Wands. So you could be thinking that you're having a really good deal right here. However, you have to understand you're not getting all the information with the Ace of Swords in reverse. So this Ten of Pentacles, let's see. We have the Sun and we have the Four of Pentacles. This is saying that you need to peer deeply into whatever you're trying to buy right here or whatever you have purchased in your past because... With this sun and this four of pentacles, it's saying that you need to hold on to something, okay? This could be that maybe you bought a piece of property or whatever within your life and you're wanting to sell it, but it's also saying that you need to hold on to something right now. So if you're thinking about purchasing, like making a big purchase with this ten of pentacles, using your life savings, maybe opening up a new line of credit, it's saying hold on to that and not do that right now. What is this ace of swords? Why do you not have all the information? You have the two of wands and you have the seven of swords. Oh, wow. So someone is trying to be a thief right here. So the Seven of Swords represents going into a military camp and disarming them in the night while they sleep, right? So it's like a spy and a thief energy. As you can see, he's taken their swords and he's running off. With this Two of Wands right here, this represents that this person isn't just trying to run off. This person is trying to leave the country. So basically, it's saying a sucker is born every minute and they're hoping that they can use you. Take your money right here. But let's look at the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? Because it's saying that there's a victory in the end. So you need to have more information about this. We'll come back to this situation, but why is the Six of Wands here? Why is there victory in the end? Queen of Cups and the Four of Scepters. You're coming into alignment with someone who is very passionate right here with this Queen of Cups. And when I say passionate, someone who's very loving. So a very loving person is going to give you victory and allow you to celebrate. Hmm, let's look more into this. The Hierophant. So this person could be coming to your aid right here. This is someone who works in the Hierophant organization, the Queen of Cups. The Hierophant represents law, military, um education systems, anything that has like a ranking structure to it. So if there is, and it can represent like a retail store, like you have your managers, you have your key holders, your sales associates, whatever, that's what the Hierophant rule. The Hierophant is technically the Pope card. And if you see right here, this also represents someone who's at the pinnacle like the Pope. And then two people are bowing down in front of him and he has these keys on the ground. These keys represent hidden knowledge. 
So I do see that this person right here has hidden knowledge about a situation that you are potentially trying to gain right here. So I feel like you're wanting to do this, purchase this, sign this, whatever. And then someone is coming in at the right moment to kind of save you from that. They're saying, no, I know more about this information than you do. The Ace of Swords, this person is very intelligent with the Nine of Wands. This person looks like they could be defending you from this, could be trying to save you from this because the Nine of Wands represents being bruised and battered, but the King of Swords represents someone who is like at the pinnacle of intellectual achievement, right? So this is like a doctor, a judge, an attorney, someone who's like sits at the top. It's the Aquarius energy. So what I'm seeing for you is that to get victory in this situation is that you do need to go and seek someone of high authority right here, okay? So before you make this purchase, before you do anything, before you sell something, definitely seek professional counsel, okay? You really need to do that for yourself. Now, why is this Seven of Swords over here? They can save you from making a really bad decision where you end up bruised and battered. And when I say bruised and battered, it doesn't always have to be physically. It could be monetarily in a loving situation where you just do not come out on top because the nine of wands represents rushing into a situation and then the situation turns out really badly. It's like an ambush because all the wand cards represent warfare, all right? So the two all the way to the ace, right? And so the warfare, it takes place in several different stages and this represents someone who rushed in and ultimately got really badly injured. So let's take a look at this information. Why is this person trying to do this to you? Why are they trying to get away with this? Let's look at this person. So we know that they're not upfront with their information. We know that they are very shady about this. They're trying to get away with the Six of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. Here's the thing. I don't know if this person has always been a bad person, but in general, it's kind of like they want other people to do their work for them, all right? They're escaping situations that are kind of burdensome. So basically, this person doesn't like working very hard, all right? So they don't like working very hard. They want people to take care of them. So why they are doing this to you, why they're trying to make this fraudulent transaction is mainly because they like to live in the lap of luxury. And because they like living in the lap of luxury, well, then you're the one that has to be taken advantage of. It's a very simple combination, Capricorn. The Six of Cups represents someone taking care of someone else. The Ten of Wands represents heavy burden. The Ace of Cups represents the cup of immortality, the cup of life, emotional fulfillment. So someone just wants to be taken care of. All right, so this could be that maybe you're going to purchase something for someone else. I wouldn't suggest doing that. Before you make any type of large, extreme, extravagant expenditure right here, you definitely need to seek someone who knows more knowledge or has more knowledge than you. And the Queen of Cups could just be talking to your mother because the Queen of Cups represents a motherly figure. So ultimately, you could be talking to a female who has a lot of knowledge within a situation, like a Hierophant situation. She might be like at the top. And this person is going to defend you or reveal some information that can prevent you from going into this Nine of Wands energy. But it is up to you to seek that for yourself, okay? So let's look at this. What is this expenditure with this Ten of Pentacles? Let's look at it. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Page of Cups. Wow, this person actually looks like a gold digger, okay? This situation could be someone is just trying to scam you out of money, all right? So pay attention before you send any money on the internet because the Queen of Wands represents someone who is very alluring and beautiful and sexually open. The Ace of Pentacles right here means that you are giving money to this person in hopes that you attain something out of this because remember, the Wands, although they represent warfare, they also represent being the pinnacle of magic. So she is actually a witch in this situation. She has her own power, right? So she's not subservient to the queen or to the king of wands like all the other queens are. So the um, queen of wands is subservient to the king of wands. She sits at the same level as him because both of them are practitioners of magic. So if you look right here, she has a wand and the cups. Um, let me back that up. The wands represent the male genitals and the cups right here represent the female genitals. All right. 
So I wish I had that card so I could show you, but I don't have it right now, the Ten of Cups. I would explain more into that. So what this person is expecting right here is to have their cup filled up by this Queen of Wands or to have some sort of emotional happiness with this Queen of Wands, but I don't see it happening right here. So this could be, as I said, a gold digger in your life. Someone coming into your life, very beautiful, wants you to spend money on it, and in return, you get nothing. You get your cup filled up a little bit with this Ace of Cups right here. This person, as I said, just wants to be taken care of, but ultimately, they are scamming you. So this could be paying money for a professional tarot reader. This could be buying a mail order bride. This could be, you know, getting scammed because you think someone is beautiful on the internet and they're truly a liar in disguise. With the Eight of Pentacles, this represents someone knows what they're doing, okay? Someone's put a lot of hard work into themselves, okay? So let's think about, for example, I've given this example a lot, Belle Delphine, right? She was an internet celebrity. She did all these crazy, like, dressing up like different anime characters and making these funny faces and whatnot, and people really liked her. However, a lot of the people said, you know, a lot of negative things about her. Didn't really matter because she ended up with like $3 million. She became a multimillionaire just by doing this. She knew what she was doing. She marketed herself really well. She played the part. She got paid. She didn't really give a fuck about what anyone had to say about her at the end because she's the one, you know, sitting in the lap of luxury. And, you know... Ultimately, she sold her bathwater, right? That was a big craze that made news. She sold her bathwater online, but you know what? People bought it. So that's kind of what I'm seeing right here is that you might be spending money on someone who could literally sell you their bathwater because you like them that much. So pay attention to that, Capricorn. Maybe that's what that devil energy is. You could be actually dealing with maybe a sex demon. Sex demons are always very alluring people. They come into your life, they, you know, seduce you with kind words, and then they take advantage of you. There are people out there who just are blessed with, you know, negative qualities, all right? Very alluring people. So that's something you need to pay attention to right now, Capricorn, is definitely pay attention to people coming into your life who are just out of the ordinary. Someone who seems to be, like, very magical, very mystical, trying to take advantage of you. And it could be male or female. That's the thing. So you need to pay attention to this right here. Let's look at this. Let's look more at this person. How do you know this person over here in the Hierophant area? Well, they've done something for you before because they've given to you before. So you know this person because they've helped you do something previously within your life or they've taken care of you previously. Like, you know you can trust this person because this person is a very giving, loyal person to you. All right? What else is going on for Capricorn? The Four of Cups. But you may not have paid attention to it in your past because, you know, when you're going through really good things within your life, you don't see all the stuff that people do for you. When you hit rock bottom, then you realize how much of a blessing people were for you during, you know, certain areas within your life. So this Four of Cups represents that Maybe this person was doing things for you behind the scenes and you weren't paying attention to it, all right? Let's get more clarification on this energy. Eight of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Lovers. What I'm seeing right here, though, is that you are completely captivated by this person. Like your mind is going around and around in a circle. This person is very, very attractive with this Queen of Wands energy. So you have the King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. All right. The King of Wands to the Queen of Wands representing being lovers as well. You can't break your mind free from this situation. All right. So this person has a grip on you. The King of Pentacles. But you need to hold on to your money. That's the situation in a nutshell. This could represent that maybe you're going to meet someone new and they look, you know, just a little bit too whatever, right? They have too much of that charisma going on. People who have a lot of charisma, they generally know how to use it, all right? So with this King of Pentacles and this Five of Cups, it's just once again saying that your cups are going to fall over. You're going to be emotionally unfulfilled. The Five of Cups represents crying over spilled milk. As you can see, the Page of Cups, he has his cup right there. The Five of Cups represents spilling the cups out. 
So your money is being spilled out because you mentally cannot move on from this person, place, or thing. All right? Because ultimately, it doesn't have to be a person. It could represent you wanting to buy a house, buying this car, this like, you know, thing that's always had your mind. So it kind of represents your deepest fantasy right here. Maybe you've always wanted to buy like a Maserati. I don't know. And now you're saying, oh, I had the opportunity to do it. But once you do it, you're going to have buyer's remorse. That's what this is. Getting into a relationship with someone who just has all the perfect things. You know, people who get a lot of plastic surgery are addicted to plastic surgery, all right? And plastic surgery is expensive. So if you can't afford plastic surgery, um, I don't suggest dating someone who gets a lot of it because they're going to want you to pay for it. So that's also what I'm seeing right there. This person could be having work done to them as well because the Eight of Pentacles represents crafting pentacles. Someone who's very skilled worker. So this person could be having work done on them. Could also represent you wanting to buy like a fix up home and you spending money on this fix up home and it just doesn't have what you want. It's not going to get to where you want it to be. And why is that? I know that we're looking at, you know, this person getting away with something. And why is that? Let's look at it. The King of Cups in reverse. This deck doesn't have reversals in it. So the King of Cups in reverse and the two of cups once again it's a loving situation okay you are captivated by something right here whether it is a person a place or a thing you really want to have this connection but the king of cups when he's upright represents someone who is in charge of his emotions someone who can like make very rational decisions he's a king but he's also someone who takes emotions into consideration like the law states if someone is a thief, you have to execute them, right? But this king says, well, why did this person steal? Oh, they stole for their family. This person has like five kids. Let them live. Make them pay off their debts. Like that's kind of how the king of cups is upright. When he's in reverse, this represents that you are just giving out your emotions to something. You are letting your cup pour out prematurely. So that's what that two of cups represents is that you want to have this emotional connection. It's Cancerian energy. So you have... Cancerian energy, you have Scorpio energy, more Scorpio energy. You have Leo energy, you have the Queen of Wands, you have Geminian energy coming out. So I do see a lot of fire energy and you are coming from an emotional state, Capricorn. So I think I mentioned at the beginning of the video that you do have water energy, not water energy, you're an earth sign, but you're represented as water and earth at the same time as the sea goat. So you have to be very rational within your emotions. You have to be very stable and grounded, okay? Because the King of Pentacles is Taurus energy. So Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo are the Earth signs, right? So with this Earth energy means that you need to be grounded. You can't let your cups just pour out. You can't go into that watery state of Capricorn, that sea goat mentality. So with this, it's like you're wanting to go into this very emotional realm. You want to dive deep into the water as the sea goats do. But you need to stay on land. You need to be grounded right here. And that's ultimately what the Eight of Swords can represent as well, being grounded. We have the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Wands, and we have the Magician. So what I'm seeing for you right now is put energy into growing things yourself, all right? Into the things that actually make you happy, into your own investments that you already have. So if you have your own investments already, Take care of those investments, and I see that they will gradually change over a period of time. They're going to grow stronger. With this Magician energy, this does trump the um, King and the Queen of Wands. The Magician is actually like the most skilled Magician. He has the, um, the power to perform any magic right here. He's also represented as above, so below. He's in control of all four elements, representing the four points at, on a graph. So eternally going up, eternally going down, but also having um, east and west on the sides. So what I'm seeing with this magician energy is that just hold on, okay? It takes a long time for magic spells to take effect. It takes a long time for, you know, investments to grow. It takes a long time for anything to work out, to pan out within your life, right? However, through waiting and proper care, because the magician is skilled at everything, he knows how to perform it 100%. So he can make money grow. He can um, perform necromancy. He can do whatever. Pay attention to this magician energy. Watch your profits grow right here. Watch your investments, you know, come to fruition for yourself. 
be more skilled. Maybe you need to study more. The magician is also represented as Aquarian energy. So we have Aquarius energy with the King of Swords. And we have Aquarius energy with the magician. So what I'm seeing for you is that this could also be that person who's just very grounded, who knows exactly what they're talking about, who's very skilled in the situation. So this King of Swords could be the magician, maybe tempering your impulses, okay? So what is going on with the spellcasting oracle? What do we need to know? We have freedom, freedom from a situation and closure. You're going to receive closure in whatever this is, right? If your mind is going around and around in a circle, understand because the Eight of Swords represents like a cage right here, okay? The freedom from the cage, freedom from your mind. And you will have closure as to what's going on. You will get information from this person right here. This person knows maybe who you're dealing with or whatever the situation is. This person could show you the car facts. This person could show you that person's credit history or whatever you want to know about this particular person. Go and seek knowledge from them, okay? Now, let me get you a couple of awakened cards because this person will provide you the closure that you need to stop thinking about whatever it is. We have integration. One more shuffle. We have Reflect. Oh, okay, these two cards are stuck together. Blaze a Trail and Reflect. All right. I think what you need to understand right here, Capricorn, is that this person is peaking your mind in all the wrong ways. And I feel like what you actually need to do is you need to integrate within yourself your own loving emotions. So that way you're not throwing yourself at whatever this is. Because Capricorns tend to bottle up everything until they find something that actually catches their eye. And then they want to throw everything at that. For example, when you go shopping and they don't have anything that you want, you're like, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. It's not my size. Some people would actually buy it, even if it's not their size. Some people would just give money to a situation because, okay, well, I want to spend money. Capricorns don't do that. They wait for the thing that they truly desire, and then they throw their money at that, right? However, this is not what you actually need. It's what you desire, but it's not what you need. So you truly need to get into this integration mode right here and understand that you are still an emotional being and allow yourself to maybe branch out into different things. With this blaze a trail and reflect, you need to reflect on this situation, okay? And then continue to move forward with this um, Knight of Wands energy. Reflect on what's happening right now and then continue to move forward with your life. Now, let me get you a couple of Witches Familiar Oracles. Feel these emotions, but don't let them hold you back. Maybe you're feeling them right now. Maybe you've gone through a breakup. Maybe you want to throw money at this person. Maybe this person is just emotionally abusive and you just cannot stop going around in circles because ultimately at the end of the day, here's the problem. The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands are lovers, all right? They are connected with this energy. Now, she is not subservient though. Now, the problem with the Queen of Wands in this situation is that even though they are a perfect match for you, they are doing it for themselves. They don't actually care about you in this situation. They are seeing what you can provide for them, but they are not actually there to help you out. All right. So even though they seem to fit you like hand in glove, there's a little bit more to this situation. So we have Rebirth Snake. And we have Butterfly Fragility. <sighs> Maybe later on down the line, there could be a rebirth within this situation, but I don't really see that it's going on now. What you need to focus on is to just continue to move forward. You're going to have the closure. Reflect on what happened. It's all right. Things will be okay for you. With this fragility energy, your emotional state is still pretty fragile from dealing with this. Okay? But everyone's is. Whenever people see something that they really, really, truly desire, sorry, their mind tends to go a little bit haywire, right? So what you need to understand is with this fragility energy is to not throw yourself into a new situation. If you break up with someone, do not go out there and throw yourself into something else like rebound, okay? And that could be with buying something as well. Maybe you turn down a really good, really good quote unquote opportunity and then you want to rebound into something else, 
No, you'll get the closure that you want. But also, understanding that when you have a rebirth within your life, it's pretty fragile. The snake, when he's going through this metamorph- not metamorphosis, what the hell do they do? They molt. Or shed. They shed their skills. Whatever. You know what I mean. They're in a very vulnerable state. And maybe that's what you're doing right there, is that maybe you are shedding yourself from this Eight of Swords energy. You're trying to get this person out of your mind. But don't try to go back to this person and beg them for something. You know, a lot of people, when they say, I'll block them on everything, they still leave them open to one form of communication. It could be Snapchat, it could be email, it could be whatever. And you obsessively think about that situation. When you are transforming, when you are going through this rebirth, you will think about something and you will obsess over it over and over and over. So block all forms of communication from whatever this is. It'll be okay. Especially when you get the information. So what else is going on with the Halloween Oracle? We have ancestors, love and legacy of our DNA, and forgiveness, reducing the burden. So here's the thing. We all make mistakes, especially if you spent money on this, okay? Your ancestors haven't forgotten you. Pay attention to your ancestors. Think about, you know, for example, Think of like your mother's breakups or maybe your grandmother's breakups or think about their lives that they've had, okay? Not everything in their life worked out 100%, okay? You have to understand that. Look at your family. With this forgiveness reducing the burden right here, it'll all work out for you. Forgive yourself. You can forgive this other person and move on. Maybe that's what you need is to forgive someone to just move on with your life. So let me get you a rune card. We have not his need, earthly meaning need, self-restraint, disappointment, avoidance of greed, patience, and simplification. Spiritual meaning is asceticism, transcendence, and the soul. Yeah, you need to have self-restraint. You need to give yourself a break from whatever this is, okay? Avoiding this person, I did say that. It is disappointment with this Ten of Pentacles falling over. Burkana, encourage ideas, aid creative endeavors, nurture a project, and help with family. So once again, this Queen of Cups right here does represent motherly energy. Maybe this person is the one that's helping you out, okay? So anyway, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.